My name is Catherine, and today I'm going to be talking about my first field study at the Church of St. Ignatius Loyola. So a few things I noticed about the church were its demographics. Because the church was on the Upper East Side, a lot of the people seemed very wealthy and dressed up. The church itself was beautiful, but I honestly felt like why put so much money into the upkeeping of the church when you can use the money to do other things like help low-income families with school and education financial aid. The other thing I noticed is that the majority of the people in the crowd were white or Caucasian of some sort and there were not a lot of people of color and I believe that is because of the location of the church. When I first got there, I felt very out of place and unwelcomed. Even during the sign of peace, the people in front of me would not shake my hand. They only gave me a slight wave. But my opinion of feeling unwelcome changed at the end. I really liked the priest and the homily that he gave. He talked about the sexual abuse that was surfacing from within the church and prayed for the victims of it. At the end of the Mass, I got the opportunity to speak to the priest, and I asked him if his homilies were always like that, and he said there are certain things he knows he has to address, and he will not pass up that opportunity. The priest just wants people to stand together and learn how to trust the church again, and he is willing to take the time to make that happen. I also liked how at the end of the Mass, there was a long line of people waiting to speak the to the priest, including tourists from Boston. They were a young couple and they heard about the church and the priest's reputation. I think that it's awesome that the priest was able to have a reputation outside of his local community. At the end of the mass, they had welcomed new members and visitors and offered information about joining their RCIA program, so I was glad that they were inviting to us. I also noticed that there were not a lot of families or children in the church itself, but then as I read the bulletin, I realized that they had a family mass with contemporary music going on at the same time as our solemn mass. The music itself was beautiful and I really enjoyed hearing the sound of the traditional organ, but because the organ was so powerful, you could not really hear the cantor over it. My favorite song was the ending hymn. As the priest was walking out, they played Amazing Grace and the entire church joined in. Besides Amazing Grace, it was really hard to hear the lyrics to the other songs, so no one was really singing, but it was helpful that the bulletin had the songs outlined with their page numbers.